For me in particular, it's a fantastic moment. We have detected for the first time uh, gravitational waves. Uh. These gravitational waves uh, uh, have been emitted by a binary system of black holes uh, in the distant universe. Uh. Gravitational waves are a fundamental prediction of Einstein's theory of relativity, and the direct detection of gravitational waves was the final missing piece uh, for the confirmation of Einstein's theory. So after over 50 years uh, of uh, work, technology development, uh, this milestone has been achieved. We've built a completely new type of machine that can measure very tiny vibration in space and time itself. About a billion years ago, in a galaxy very far away, two black holes have collided and distorted space-time. Now this distortion has traveled at the speed of light and has shaken parts in our instrument and we've recorded that signal. And we have here a toy model to explain how it works. A laser interferometer consists of a laser then the laser beam is going to a central beam splitter and then going into two different arms. And when a gravitational wave would pass through the system, the uh, light pattern and the intensity of the light changes and that's where we can measure the gravitational wave. The LIGO project consists of two sites and uh, the laser runs actually through four kilometer long tunnels. So having two sites allows us to distinguish between local noise and a global gravitational wave signal passing through. And as part of this chain you need very sensitive sensors and actuators and there's a type of sensor that we built here and the control electronics for this chain has also been built in Birmingham. We've built an instrument, the first of its kind. We have run it for several years, but it was not sensitive enough. Now we have started a new instrument, which is called Advanced LIGO, which has new technology to make it 10 times more sensitive. And on the first day that we switch it on, we detected a gravitational wave. Some of the most exciting things, like black holes, produce no lights whatsoever. So the fact that they exist, what they are, their properties, has been completely unknown to us until this point. And now we have a way of uh, charting the cosmos uh, through gravitational waves. And we expect uh, to discover many new things, uh, probably many things that we cannot even imagine right now. <laughs>